And good morning, everyone. Welcome into a brand new edition of Sports Medicine Weekly on this Sunday morning. So happy you're with us. I'm Steve Cashel, joined by my usual co-host. He is Dr. Brian Cole, head team physician with the Chicago Bulls, sports medicine specialist, orthopedic surgeon from Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. Our website is Sports medicineweekly.com. Our producer is Shane Reardon. And again, podcasts always available to hear on the Sports Medicine Weekly blog, also through Apple, Google, Spotify, Pandora, YouTube, iHeartRadio, and wherever you get your podcast audio. How are you, Dr. Cole, on this Sunday morning? Steve, I'm doing great. Uh, just nice to have a little bit of warm weather at this time, isn't it? Yeah, it's been awesome. Played a little golf at the end of uh, the week, and uh, hard to believe we can still play here in November, so take advantage of it, right? I hope it lasts. Yeah, so do I. Hey, I want to get into um, uh, an interesting scenario. A A youth hockey player that I know suffered a broken ankle during a game. Now, the ankle was broken in three places and dislocated. Parents are asking... If the old adage holds true, that a break can be better than a sprain, meaning that once the ankle is surgically repaired and healed, it can be stronger than a sprain that could linger. What are your thoughts on that, Dr. Cole? Well, I mean, the the injury you're describing, Steve, is a bad one. And make no mistake, uh, an ankle that is broken in a couple of places that dislocates also has soft tissue injury. But, you know, I think that the theory that your family is asking about is that, look, if you had to choose break a bone or tear a ligament, um, you know, which one has a quicker, more reliable recovery. I, I don't know if you can really make, you know, huge generalizations because you can have an ankle sprain that's just a, a ligament tear and you could be back in two weeks if it's a mild sprain. But if you have a fracture, it takes six to eight weeks to heal. The flip side is that once a fracture happens, if we fix it, say with screws or a plate, it's definitively fixed, assuming there's no complications from the injury or the fixation, and then you're done with it. And um, it, it's rare that you ever have a recurrence. So I guess you could argue that that um, the short-term misery factor, especially if it requires surgery, is, is much greater when you have a fracture. But if you are if you place a premium on injuries not happening again, uh, I would say fractures probably you know lead to that outcome more reliably than, say, recurrent ankle sprains or ligament tears, if that makes sense. Absolutely. Well, that leads me to this next subject, Dr. Cole. Uh, speaking of ankles, uh, San Francisco 49ers quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo Uh, suffering a high ankle sprain. He initially suffered the high ankle sprain in week two of the NFL season, forcing him to miss two games. Now his head coach, Kyle Shanahan, says his latest problem is, and I quote, essentially a whole new one just on the same foot. End quote. When you have those high ankle sprains, you re-injure them a lot, the coach said. But it was different the way that he did it, so it's basically doing it all over again in a different way. Whatever's best for him long term, obviously what we'll decide on. That's what the coach said. But he said uh, if he needs a surgery, then it's going to be year-ending, and he's done for the season. If not, he's open six weeks. So it kind of goes along with uh, what you were saying there, right? Especially, you know, what Garoppolo had is a high ankle sprain, or at least by the media. And that's that's a much more challenging than what you know I was talking about before, which is just a two-week ankle sprain, three-week ankle sprain. These are the ligaments between the tibia and the fibula, the big and the small bone in the in the lower leg. And when those ligaments are disrupted, they they just take a long time to heal, and sometimes they never heal properly. So a high ankle sprain is a whole different category, and that's when I would argue that if you had to pick an injury, I'd rather have a fibula fracture than some of these high ankle sprains where you disrupt the entire connection between those two bones. So yeah, it's a great example, you know, and and, and speaks to the the question you were being asked before: Would you rather have a break or would you rather have a sprain? Because uh, this one could be a nuisance uh, and can be associated with repeated injuries as well. Okay, final question on this. Um, If he has surgery, what kind of surgery is done on a high ankle sprain? Most commonly, it's some type of uh, stabilization between the, the, the tibia and the fibula. And it, it could be a screw or it could be a device that there's some really interesting new devices that we use with synthetic polyester or non-absorbable sutures and little buttons and so forth that where you can literally tether the tibia to the fibula through small drill holes. And the advantage of that is it doesn't have to be removed like a screw. Uh, so there's some really cool technology that has advanced our treatment of these types of sprains when you completely disrupt the the ligament complex between these two bones.